Uh, my colleague Kamaljeet Sandhu, who's just caught up with the Shiromani Akali Dal's Naresh Kudral. Here's that conversation. All right, we have uh, first reactions coming in on the budget. Uh, first, we'll speak to you, Mr. Gujral. How do you really rate this particular interim budget? Great window dressing. Totally del delusional. He has postponed the liabilities. The next government will have to face the music. Obviously, he's talked about uh, great highlights, about the achievements, about fiscal deficit. He's also talked about one rank, one pension, which was something uh, that the BJP was talking about all this while. Uh, so do you really think uh, that, that you're satisfied as a person uh, about the budget? Not at all satisfied, as I said earlier. A lot of the expenditure has been postponed. The same thing happened in 89 when Rajiv Gandhi presented the budget. And later, when the next government came, they found that the economy was bankrupt. It is a similar situation now. He is leaving the Treasury absolutely bankrupt. All right. Uh, Rajiji, do tell us, what do you really think about it? Uh, a lot of retorts also being made, especially regarding Mr. Modi saying, all that I've learned is basically from my mother and from Harvard, and that's how I've learned my hard work. No, look, I mean, I don't want to get into that. But I think uh, what uh, Naresh said, I agree with that this is a budget that is very high on uh, rhetoric. It's like a Bharat Nirman ad. It's talking, laying out what all they've done, but it fails to address a fundamental issue. The economy is in shambles. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, there's a lot of numbers that have been put out there which are completely non-transparent. I do not agree that the fiscal consolidation is underway. Uh, I don't agree that the current account deficit is showing any signs of health in the economy because bottom line is, the manufacturing industry is in a slump, the economy is in a slump, and what he's done is essentially postpone the problem and put it in the court of the next government. Are you talking about a lot of jargon on, of numbers, uh, but specifically speaking, uh, what are you most disappointed about? No, there's nothing to be disappointed about. I think we all know, anybody who's been observing the economy know that we are in a fundamental recession-like situation, which is high inflation, low growth. And I don't think a smart speech or trotting out data and numbers is the solution or is going to solve this. This requires decisive leadership, huge boosts of investments, and this is not about numbers and statistics, which is what unfortunately has got us into this situation for the last 10 years. He basically said uh, UPA 1, UPA 2 were the best performing governments as far as finance was concerned and even if there was a global slum, uh, the Indian economies didn't really face that, rupee was going much stronger. How do you really see that? No, no, I think the Indian economy has been in the last three, four, five years, it's been in a deep slum. I think there is, if you start denying that, you're expecting the people of India to be foolish and uh, naive. People of India aren't foolish and naive, the economy has been in a deep, deep problem for a few years. Uh, none of this is going to solve this. This requires, like I said, a new government to come in and have a completely new economic outlook. On a basis of 10, how would you rate the budget? I would rate the economy as 3 out of 10. Um, and I, I believe the budget does nothing for the economy. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. So obviously, first reactions coming in on the budget. Not many people are very happy with saying it's a basic rhetoric. But we really have to see as to what really other people also have to say. Uh, most people, especially the industry, is yet to react on this. With camera person Sanjay Chaudhary, this is Kamal Sandhu in Delhi for headlines today.